Hi, Philip Hinkle here for ProAdrenaline.com. Today's advanced tutorial in Mercalli version 4 SAL Plus is going to be about the pan shot smoothing and roll balance sliders in our settings tab. They're the basic sliders that Mercalli works with the most, but sometimes you just may not completely understand what's going on inside there. Today I want to show you how they work and how they affect your video so that you'll be a better be able to tweak your videos and make them look a little better when needed in Mercalli version 4. So let's get started. First thing I want to show you is I've got a clip here of a bike ride I went on. Let me show you the source file. You can see it's got some uh, bumps and bounces in it and we're going to fix those up. I am not going to mess with my rolling shutter and CMOS issues because this footage doesn't really have major CMOS problems. We're just going to deal with the stabilization, so we're going to leave that off. I am using a Sony AS100V, so I went ahead and left that selected. We've run the analysis, and this is what we come back with in Mercalli. This particular part of the timeline is related to the pan shot smoothing. You can see if I click on the roll balance, it changes. We're going to talk about that in a little bit, but let's go back to the pan shot smoothing. The blue lines down here represent the vertical, how much up and down correction is being made. The green are the horizontal or the x-axis, the blue being the y-axis, vertical up and down, and green being the horizontal x-axis. So you can slide your mouse across there and see how much it's moving to fix your video. Okay, let's look at our result and see how it looks now. It has been stabilized, but I think we can still make it a little bit better. Still got a little bit of bounce, and you can see it's rolling a little bit. That's where I'm going up a hill and I'm pumping the pedals on my bike, and it's actually pushing the camera left and right just a little bit. If we look up here in our dashboard, you can see here this like auto level in an airplane. The red line is showing how I'm swaying back and forth, but you can see my video is somewhat steady. So I think we're going to have to mess with the roll balance to clean that up a little more, but first we're going to mess with the pan shot smoothing. Another way to think of that is shift, is in an up and down or an X and Y left and right type shift from center where we want it to be. And our little dashboard icon here, you can see the red dot moving back and forth. It's doing a lot of, of shifting on the horizontal or the X axis, and every now and then you'll see a little blip where it'll bounce on the Y axis as well. That is what our pan shot smoothing is going to repair. So let's stop that, and just for fun, let's slide that up a bit. As you can see, our image has been cropped a little bit. You can also use it up here. It's one of your basic controls in Mercalli 4. And now when I view it, it does look a little smoother. There's a little bit less of that jitter. And also notice when I move this, the green and blue are moving. Now as I got up in here, you'll notice the lines really aren't moving much. So I think we're probably hitting a max threshold of what's possible right up in there. I'm going to stop it. Let's, let's set it on a 75. So we've got that set. We can see our footage looks pretty good. Let's look at the roll balance now. If I come and click on my chart button, we now see we have some pink lines down here and they're showing you the degrees of correction as they peak and drop up and down. The roll is actually how much the bike is tilting on the z-axis. So that's the sway left and right, the leaning left and right that you see as a result of my pedaling. So if I go back to my source, you can see there's a lot of that bobbing going on. All right, so let's ramp up our roll balance and as you can see the pink lines are changing and we'll click our view result and let's look and see how much steadier it is. As you can see that roll left and right is minimized even more than it was before. We have increased the amount that it's reacting to our movement in the roll balance by moving the slider. Let's move it back down again and watch the finished video. You can see there's that bob, that little bit of left and right motion. If I slide it back up, again, there comes a point where those lines quit moving as much, which is right around in there. I'm going to call that my sweet spot. 
and let's see what it looks like. We've done a pretty good job of cleaning up that footage. Now, let me show you one other thing here, and that's this best border option. If I click on that and come down to my forensic view, we get something a little bit different. I'm going to scale that back so I can see it. Now look at this. This is a grid that shows you exactly what Mercalli is doing inside your footage. It very well could help tip you off into what needs to be done. You can see that X and Y axis movement and then as it's going rolling right and left you can actually see that we need to change our roll balance. If we turn off the video color filling we lose our grid this is our footage. This is what we're actually seeing. This is what is going to be saved that our viewer would see. And we can see how Mercalli is using our cropping function and bouncing around all around there. And you can see how the corrections are actually being made. Now watch this. If I turn my roll balance back down and my pan shot smoothing, you can see how they are affecting the video. So let's see what happens now. See how they're jerkier? and they're not moving around as much so our final video is going to be jerkier for that very reason. Let's put those back up. If I remember right it was somewhere around 75 and turn off forensic view back to best border and there we have it. That is how the roll balance and pan shot smoothing affect your footage when you're working with them. Take some time to play with those. You'll learn a little bit and you'll be able to tweak your footage and get them smoothed out just a little bit more so that what your finished product looks like is just that much better. Thanks and have a good one.